Ah, oh, hello there, you impacted little fistulas, rammed to the brim with delicious fruit preserves. Welcome to RimWorld Tech vs. Magic, where I presume today there might in fact be a robot. I say I presume, it's my series. I'm telling you right now, there will be a robot today. And if you're sat at home saying right now, but you already have robots, that makes you racist. Robot racist, because these aren't robots, these are androids. Ah, oh, shit, I just called them robots. I guess we're both robot racists now. Orgthal is good when it comes to mining blocks and mountains and deep drilling, but it's absolutely god-awful when it comes to mining speed. And that's where mining bots will come in. We'll have Orgthal man the deep drills and the robots man the quarry. And then between them... Oh, sorry. I have them robot the quarry. And then between them... We will have all the resources we need to open the floodgates. And I am fundamentally well aware I've been saying that for a long time. Do not touch my gorillas! <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think of anywhere else to go with that. I can't remember what I was talking about because I've distracted myself with nonsense. So we'll just carry on. Uh, yeah, that's it. We're, we're after robots. Thank you, little robot, for reminding me of that. We're after mining bots as soon as possible. And I think we'll probably start deep drilling today. And as soon as we can make Maria's nano machine sun heart, the better. And as someone quite eloquently put it, like a modern day Shakespeare in Discord, they said, Maria is underpowered and that makes her cringe. And I could not have said it better myself. <laughs> hauler bots. Okay, that's fantastic. I mean, it's not a mining bot, but it is a hauler bot, so I'll take it. What are we lacking for the Grand Penetrating Scanner? Just an advanced component? Then for the advanced components, we don't have gold, if I remember everything correctly. Which is rare for me, but apparently this time I actually have. Okay. Um. Again, I'm starting to regret perhaps building all of the furniture in the base out of solid gold. <laughs> Do they need... I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. Do they really need six gold chairs per bedroom? No, they don't, do they? Uh, do we have any cloth? Uh, not yet. We do. Actually, how much have we got? We'll just place them with armchairs. 3,000, you say? Wow, that'll do. Um, I'm going to build a, a, a mulfialet or something like that. Some Ikea shit. Man, I made even the chair in front of the stove out of gold. <laughs> Is there any wonder we can't make advanced components? I doomed us from the get-go. Oh, please refund me some gold. 18 gold per chair. That might just be the difference between us being able to deep drill or not. And given that 49 slapped Pan's Ram down yesterday by calling him maidenless, deep drilling is exactly what we need in this colony. Legendary local internet citizen Foxflame has suggested more plans for improving the base, and it was something I was going to do myself. Oh, you've got to believe me. Ah. Oh. Well, the thing I was going to do was build barbed wire across in kind of a, uh, in a kind of zigzag shape, forcing them to go the long way around, or climb through barbed wire, which is a decision nobody wants. Uh, given that we can't do that, we'll probably fall back on Fox Flames' idea then and probably fill the damn thing with chunks, or at least alternate chunks, because that'll slow them down. The problem with that, it's a lot more work. Uh, this is going to take a long, long time. I'm not happy about it. Oh! Well, apparently she's working on something. I'm kind of hoping it's the... Well, it's the defensive exosystem. I was going to say something that increased our fire rate, but you know what? I'll take that, too. Throw that on the floor. I would like to see it with my special eyes in all its glory. She stopped working on it the second I asked her to do that. <laughs> ah, thank you, Queen C. There it is. Steel defensive exosystem. I asked her to build it out of steel. Not, you know, for the defensive bonuses, but more so that we can reinforce it a thousand times. Wowee. Oh, okay, then. Here we go, Maria. Strap it on. All that research yesterday did not go to waste. Oh, she can't make the turret with it. Oh. Well, never mind. We've done it now. Holy crap. Wowee. Oh, and she made the sword as well. The maverick blade. Ah, now, uh, it was confirmed there was a bug with the... What is that? Jump. Jump. What do you mean, jump? Jump? <laughs> uh, they are functionally identical. This variant comes with a jump ability and counts as a ranged weapon. I'm sorry. Interesting. Uh, it was confirmed that the quick draw sheath was, uh, the, the percentages were backwards. Queen CER did also make one of these Maverick Blades, a legendary katana. The problem is it's, um, it's a minus 300% melee hit chance, which I assume is a little bit of a bug. <laughs> so we'll just ignore that one for now. I think that the quick draw sheath is now fixed. Uh, minus 80% melee cooldown. That seems a lot better. Let's throw one of those out. We will need the uh, Sin Thread and the Hyperweave. We'll be able to make that eventually. In the meantime, we'll craft the big red sword. Because the amount of times we've been in melee combat is um a little bit silly. There you go. There you go. Finally something to fall back on. Equip that as a sidearm. Excellent. I'm feeling better already. Perfect. There we go. What are those? 
Ha! <laughs> Whose trousers are these? Oh, I must have missed a zone. My bad. There you go. Problem solved. I'll just slow them down a little bit. It won't be massive, but it'll help out a tad. But the one thing I did forget to build that a lot of people pointed out is we don't have any sort of uh, ideology room. So if we throw one of those down fast, that'll hopefully shut Queen C up a little bit and stop her complaining. Wait a minute. We've already got the research for new Tramine. What are you talking about? Oh, the drugs lab. Okay, well, that's... <laughs> that's my bad. You know it's strange. No matter how many times I click on the biofuel refinery, there's no way to make new Tramine except for this thing, which we can't do. All right, well, let's throw down a uh, very same drugs lab, if I could see it anywhere at any time now. Uh, electric drugs lab. There you go. Delicious. Is that the only thing standing between us and nanomachine heart for Maria? It absolutely is. What about the sheath? Uh, sheath is irrelevant. What about these other limbs, then? Puzzle evasive robotic add-on. Um, thank you for that. Uh, gives... 120 sharp armor, 120 blunt, fucking hell, 180% part efficiency, um, 52% armor penetration with melee, uh, as a melee weapon, if you want to use it as that, incoming damage multiplier minus 20% because the arms are so bloody powerful, robotic add-on leg, so you put it, you put it, you replace the, you replace the leg with it, right, uh, melee dodge chance plus two, holy crap, that's nice, in fact, they both have that, that also gives 0.5 move speed. You know I reckon those would be better than her arms and legs that she's got currently because the, the base part efficiency is gigantic. How can I not? You've got to embrace it. Full nano machine sun. And we've got enough gold now to actually probably be able to make it too. She's on it already. Holy crap. Um, we started working in the hospital yesterday. We have, uh, to be honest, already a pretty good hospital. The only thing we're lacking is the IV drip, which we just need medicine for, which we might even be able to make right now. Wait, I think we legitimately can make that. We don't have any new training. But uh, like I've said, well, it's fine. We can just we can just crack this out. Wow. Okay, okay. See, I told you that we had all the building blocks there. We just needed to embrace it. Loads of people left comments saying, oh, he's ended an episode five times in a row now saying things are going to be good next episode. Well, this is it. This is the payoff. Just got to believe. Just got to believe in Queen C. Okay, there you go. That's pretty much as state of the art as the hospital can get at this point, right? Oh, we've got sterile tiles too. Ah, it's kind of hard to keep up with what research is relevant and what isn't when you haven't got any resources to do any of it. It's just full of surprises. It's just non-stop nice surprises. Let's get some herbal medicine over here then, given that we need that for <laughs> any tending whatsoever because of these bloody curses. You'll complete mate, personal evasive robotic add on leg. Wait, have we done it now? There's one arm there. Uh, two legs and an arm there. All legendary quality. Holy crap. 360% body part efficiency. Is this going to be an upgrade? Honestly, almost certainly, yeah. Because we've got the um, the hoverfoots. Bear in mind, implants don't get a bonus to efficiency. They're not affected by quality, but full-on body parts are. So the muscle wires and the hoverfoots that she's got currently are not really helping beyond what they, beyond just what they do as the base level. This is going to crank her up, insano style. Who's going to be our surgeon? Surgeon 49. <laughs> He's got the wrong type of doctor. He's like an engineering doctor, but I mean, close enough, right? I'm not taking any gambles when it comes to Maria. I'm certainly not taking any gambles when it comes to whether or not Maria is going to be able to fight at the drop of a hat. We need to make sure if we're anesthetizing her and taking that gamble that it bloody pays off. Crafter bot. Oh, we actually don't need it this time. Ooh. Mortars unlocks trench warfare. Is that what gives us barbed wire? Because then we can go back to my idea rather than... God damn fox flame. <laughs> Your complete mate nano machine core, we had enough? Holy crap, surely we're almost out of gold. We've still got 518. Holy crap. I wasted <laughs> a staggering amount on furniture in that case, huh? So we've got the arms, we've got the legs, we've got the nano machine, we've got the defensive exoskeleton. Uh, I want to make the, the quick draw sheath as soon as possible now that that's fixed, but that's going to be a little while yet. We need some other research first. Then, I mean, what do we do afterwards? I've queued up a uh, carbon jumpsuit because that gives insane armor bonuses. Sure, she doesn't get the work speed bonus from a regular jumpsuit, but we're all about combat this time. We are going to make her into the perfect weapon. Like I said, breaks her off. All of the internet bionics, all of the resources we could ever need. We can make whatever we want when we want. This is going to be absolutely nuts. Right, a little bit of cleaning. And then we'll put her under for all the surgeries at once. Let's just get it out the way. I was thinking maybe we should hold out until the raid turns up so that we can try and try and time right. Oh man, we don't have a bin yet. Okay, uh, 49. Let's get you manually sweeping this place. And then Maria, it's time, my friend. Rules of nature. Left leg, right leg, left shoulder, right shoulder, 
Nano Machine Sun. I think we should have, yeah, we should have enough regular medicine. Oh, we've got some glitter wall medicine too. You know what? I'm going to allow it. I think this is way too valuable. So she did lose the muscle wire and the hover foot, but I think overall her moving is going to be way higher. Was it before? Uh, 211 or something like that? And this is the hardest surgery. This is the heart. Come on, 49. What's his medical? Uh, only, only 9.99. Wow. He genuinely could have fucked that up then. Okay, there you go. Everything's fine. No longer incapable of walking. There you go. Okay, we got through it without any problems. She's still... She's still woozy on the anesthetic and she's got 287% moving. <laughs> Wowie, she can't walk in a straight line, but my god, she'll get there fast. A lovely family trip over to the hot spring, that's fine. The uh, cursed giant oblivion portal hot spring. Oh, that's Panzram, that's not 49. Well, I mean, it's a bit strange. He's whispering to Queen C about clowns as he lies on her side. Oh, this is weird. We're in weird territory. I mean, we've been there for a long time. <laughs> this is truly nothing new. Wow. This is going to be ridiculous. She is shivering from hypothermia. So what was it we needed to make that carbon jumpsuit then? That's just Devil Strand, right? I've already got the Devil Strand growing. It's going to take a while. It's Devil Strand. You know how it goes. Show me those mining bots. No more breaks. Let's go bot wild with this. Oh, mending. Mending's pretty good. Cleaning bots. Cleaning bots aren't better than bins, though. Bins would, would just be better all around. The super pod could come in handy. If we want to go back to that original dream of trying to get her all the relic gear to reinforce... We could do it this time, because we actually have ways to get the materials to reinforce the gear with. That being the quarry. Did I seriously build a gilded chair for the, the ground trying to penetrate and scanner? It's the only wonder we couldn't build advanced components. <laughs> oh, hey. I don't think we saw this at all last time, did we? Advanced cellular regeneration with the med pod. We didn't get that at all last time. How did we not get it last time? Maybe we did. Maybe I just didn't build one in the first place, because I haven't added this in between... The first basin now. So we've got the gear sorted. Now we need a weapon. We need any sort of gun. My god, we haven't got any at the fabrication bench. Um, We've only got gunsmithing. Very basic level one gunsmithing. Oh shit, we actually do. We can build any melee weapon you like. <laughs> we just can't build any decent gun. Wow, that's unfortunate. Okay. Ballistic again. Oh, but bins. How can I not? We built this last time, and then I never did anything with it. I feel like it deserves a redemption arc at this point. Besides, we're using scavenge weapons from an ancient danger. What is that? Nano machines unleashed. Hello? What does that do? Unleash the full power of the nano machine core, draining all power from all batteries and gaining power equivalent to the power absorb. Creates a solar flare event, preventing continuous power gains. Oh, shit. That's a cool idea. Well, it's a solar flare anyway, so that's fairly irrelevant. Wow. So if we're up against a particularly dangerous raid, we suck all of the power out of the base into Maria, and then she goes bot wild. It would cut us off. It would, it would kill all of our turrets dead. But in return, full on nano machine, son. I like that. That's a cool idea. Unfold the power of superior weapon systems. I do feel like we're a little bit beyond it. Glutton it. Okay. Okay. That's the first part to the cybernetics for Maria as well. Let's get this ballistic done as soon as possible, 49. Show me a gun to reinforce. We've got the gold. We've got the plastic, even, at this point. Okay. Uh, let's go... Ah, these are all garbage. Royal apparel, sure. Right. What were those guns we unlocked then? Here you go. More glitternet. Okay, in that case, let's just build the, uh, the ballistic combat gun. 75 steel, 125 plastic, eight components to reinforce this thing will be... God damn expensive. Actually, on the subject of that, why don't we start reinforcing our ammo pack again? Haven't done anything with it yet. There you go. It's, it's time. It's time. Ooh, look at this. Oh, look at this, though. Hold on. Uh, 68%. Go, go, but wild. Holy crap. We can we can go nuts with this. Oh, this is a complete waste of resources because we could reinforce, say, her helmet, and it will give a higher range cooldown than what this would give. But if the bag gives 10%, and her helmet gives... I was aiming time. It doesn't affect cooldown. Oh, what do the goggles do? Aiming time again. Well, let's do the goggles. Goggles next. Okay, they, that, that's fine then. It doesn't feel like such a waste. Oh, plus 49. I can't do plus 49 for God's sake. What are you playing at? Let's get that plus 50 at least. All right. One more. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Range cooldown 10%. Thank you. Let's get this back on, Maria. Thank you for the... 
49. You were treating us to quite the gift today, my friend. What a legend. All right, let's take off those goggles. Aiming time is the next best thing to reinforce. We need a repair bed or like a repair shelf from Vanilla Expanded as soon as possible so that we can make sure this gear doesn't ever break on us. Oh, it's advanced components. Oh, well, this is going to get expensive. This is not something we can really do too much with. I'll spend all of our components on it. Minus 14%. It's not good enough, is it? That's going to be really expensive. Um. Okay, sure. You know what? Aiming time is is how fast she'll start firing between targets. So very, very important when we've got big groups of wizards. But cooldown is how fast she'll fire at a single target. Really? I expected it to be faster. Hang on. That's the heavy SMG, not the PDW. Okay. Hold on. Try it now. Yep. No, that is a bit better. That's a bit better. Scientist cabinet couldn't have come at a better time. Oh, he's just... He's, um, the man has done it. Give me the scientist cabinet then. Let's get this gun built as soon as possible. This thing was like a thousand work, wasn't it? Even with Queen C working on it, it's still going to take many, many hours. Okay. It's done. Where did you put it? Legendary. That's good. We don't have to try again with another. Get that equipped. Forget about the PDW. Oh, well, in fact, she can have it in her offhand, which in theory should make it fire faster. It's bloody consistent. What is it like with just the... Uh, let's throw that down. What is it like with just the combat gun, then? So it's kind of burst fire, isn't it? Because the cooldown's not quite perfect yet. Wow, I mean, the damage is fantastic. All right, Casper. Send your worst. I think we're ready. Hold on, I'm a fool. <laughs> um, I might have ignored Builder Bots once or twice, because I thought, why do we need Builder Bots? We've got Maria, and then it occurred to me. Builder bots are mining bots, you big idiot. Power grid is still garbage. We still can't keep... We still can't keep everything enabled. Let's get rid of these then. Let's build some uh, advanced solar generators. We need this in the last base, to be fair. It's very expensive to run a robot paradise. Oh, well, hang on. Why are you building solar panels, though? Half the year is complete darkness. No, 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 no. Stick with the wind turbines. Stick with that. Take, take it all down. Rip it all down. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit. 87? Is it wizards? It is, in fact, the wizards. They, they ruined that for themselves. They sent so many people that the game lagged. There was no notification. The game didn't pause or anything because the curse of the blind. It just went slower very briefly. Holy shit. Look at the speed of Maria. My god. Okay. Uh, so we're probably just going to be able to run circles around him now, huh? Nano machine, son. She's very slow at opening doors. Is she, She's, like, good, though. Besides the hypothermia, we actually do have a time limit on this fight, then. Uh, 376% moving. 329 manipulation. Why is it consciousness down? Uh, because of the hypothermia. I, I mean, that's reasonable. Yeah, it's very cold. Holy crap. Holy crap. What is the range on that weapon? Wait, she can shoot beyond her. Wait, what? How was she hitting them there? Oh, you see that? Uh, that person's behind a shield. Well, hold on. Well, how the hell were you doing that? Can she? No, she can't fire in that direction. What the hell was going on there? How do I recreate that? Oh, shit. Hypothermia is serious. Um, go stand in your bedroom a minute. The wizards can wait. They're not important. <laughs> Tears of the bringer of miracles. You're going to leave with the wood? Well, they were here to log? I'm... Okay. New rule. I'm going to disable the logging. I'm going to disable the hunting. I think that's fair. Only because it it does feel like I'm just basically cheesing these raids otherwise, right? It's your time to shine, Steel Tactical Vest. This is going to be really expensive, isn't it? Oh, Lord. I mean, it's nice because we get the work speed bonus and we get the aim time and we get the move speed. We're already out of components. Wowie. I really would like those robots now, please. What have we got next? Uh, space or electronics. Oh, that leads to mechano restoration. We can build the beds that heal their stuff. And then we get back some gold. <laughs> let's crank up the, uh, let's crank up the amount of advanced components that we've got Queen C making here. There you go. I'm sure Queen Calamity can just about manage to eat that out. I, I feel weird. You know, I feel weird getting that free raid. Because it's just like all this extra time we get to prepare now. I worry we're really going to outpace things because they came here to steal my wood. And I have no wood. I've never had wood. And that's because I play Room Order, not Super Smash Bros. Incidentally, is Room Order Red Dwarf reference? I'm going to just realize that. 
<laughs> 5,000 hours, by the way. Uh, let's go for... Mechanite assembly. Can inject our people with fibrous mech and sensory mech injectors. That actually could be pretty good. As I Luciferian, but with less sin. I know, I know we're off to mining robots, okay? I haven't had any robot logic besides the basic crappy ones, and I'm not wasting our resources on that because we're just going to upgrade them. What we do have is a repair bed because Maria, I mean, look at Maria. Look at her right now. Look at her gear. Look at Maria's gear. We have the carbon jumpsuit. We have the metal rim rising, like, backplate thing. I really know what it is, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> We're so close to greatness. 49, I just need some robots, brother. Just give me, like, slightly better robot brain, and then I'll be happy. Nope, that's not it. That's not it, chief. Ah, oh, that'll do it. Wait, intermediate. Oh, whatever that'll do. <laughs> I'm not waiting any longer, please. For God's sake. And now we take the lab coat. Oh, it's made of steel. Oh, crap. Why the hell did I grow 4,000 cloth if it's made out of steel? <laughs> well, never mind. Um, let's start reinforcing. I want research, and I want it now. Maybe just go up to like 25%, because we do need some steel to be able to make, make robot. Otherwise, we're kind of regressing there a little bit, aren't we? There you go. There you go. Start the research level 49. Give me them robots. We might as well preemptively start work on the robotic components. Let's take uh, a small order of 500. No, how much is sensible? Like 10? We'll start with 10. Is our deep drill just not working? <gasps> You're an idiot. You don't get any letters, you fool. Oh my god. Oh, well, the deep drill's working fine. It's just we're not being notified about it because it's, it's Curse of the Blind. Oh, well, that makes so much sense, doesn't it? What are we lacking right now? I'll take a little more steel, uh, given that I just threw it away on a very fancy lab coat. Yeah, let's go to work on that one, eh? Bearing in mind that Orgthal will be so much faster on a drill than he will be in a quarry. So it's kind of silly to have him, like, work in the quarry at all when he can just get on this and generate... Ah, oh, there it is. Thank you. Uh, sure, yeah, whatever. Well, look... This is exactly what I was talking about. Look at the bloody speed. I'm sorry, Orkthal. I wasted so much of your time in that quarry. And I have realized that the grand penetrating scanner was actually working. It could be a very different game right now. We're up to 10,000 steel already. <laughs> After almost burning it all on a single lab coat. This is incredible. Right, make the... Oh, it's advanced components. Okay, we'll see if we can deep draw some gold up in that case. Uh, do that until we've got one. And then I guess we'll just make the... Builder bots from it. I don't want the builder bots working in the deep drill though. Hmm. We're only able to make builder three, so it's not even going to be that good either. Let's do that until we've got. I mean, ideally like ten, but let's start. Let's start reasonable. Did we actually scan for any gold? Uh, there is no gold yet. That's a shame. I'm sorry, but someone is going to be losing their table here, and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry. Orders have come down from above. We'll swap it for these fancy tables that give recreation. Then everybody wins. Well, we can make double repair beds already. They're 20 advanced components each. Are you freaking kidding? Well, there's no price too high when you've also spent 10,000 steel on one lab coat. I think that's a fair trade. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Get these robots installed and send them in. Send them in. Oh. Oh, the resources. Oh, they're so slow. I mean, they're not, they're not bad to say that this is free, consistent, uh, almost infinite... Network prosthetics, you say, huh? Effectively free, infinite, consistent resources. I can't complain about that so much, can I, huh? You fools. You thought you could catch me out, but you fools. Nothing gets past me, except for all those things that got past me. More importantly, nothing gets past Maria. Oh my god. Oh, it's incredible. That uh, seeds breaker. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you for interrupting this high octane action. The first freaking raid we've had all day. My god. I could watch it for hours. If only Rules of Nature wasn't copyrighted, because that'd be playing over the top right now. Maybe I could... Pitch, shift it, and get away with it. Can you people fuck off? Look at this mess. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess we'll put down a mass, uh, finish off command then, huh? Holy crap. Wow. Um, can I prioritize finishing off the lot? 
This is by Andrata. She'll probably just get on with it. That, my friends, is a modicum of her power because now we have the resources flowing in. We have the power grid pretty decently set up. The robots will work round the clock to guarantee that my next plan comes together. Oh god, the room's the wrong shape for it. Well, I'm not. I'm not standing for that. You've got to be joking. A lot like I was saying. Now it's time. Throw down the Gluttonet Hub. Do we have the high tier processors yet? We do. Advanced Gluttonet processor, 48 advanced components apiece. My God. We've only got two of the uh, kind of specialized processors, too. There's four in total, if I remember correctly. And then basic subnet access point. Oh, shit. There's advanced versions of that as well. Oh, this could take a little while then, huh? And of course, as soon as I build five of the crappy robots, we get the better robots. Ah, every time. What happened? Oh, another raid already. Oh, that's a lot of wizards. 76 friggin' wizards. And look at how many of them are actually wizards, too. Wowie. Uh, this time, we're not just going to be able to fight them with a very fancy sword. Let's get that gun out. And let's be very careful about this. What is that? Why are you glowing? Laser detection? <laughs> Magic lasers. Magic lasers like Pink Floyd, not tech lasers like, you know, your Epson printer. Are they sieging? Oh, that's the old siege. For a second, then I thought they were sieging me. Uh, Maria, how have you got that much range with this gun? This is a mystery. Oh. That range from before was the PDW. Holy shit. That thing's got a hell of a range to it then, huh? We're miles away and still hit them. We might as well get into the embrasure just in case. Ah, uh, and don't forget to shut down the robots. Oh, it's all coming back to me. Flashbacks from the first bloody base. They are dodging these bullets like crazy. I see you know your judo well, sir. Uh, run. Run, 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 Maria. Well, she ran. But where she ran? Oh, I was right into the middle of the wizards. No, I didn't want her to run there. That was... Uh, it's very illegal. For fuck's sake, she could be dead. <laughs> the wizards have quite the range, it turns out. Um, Well, they really did snatch her right from that distance, huh? You fuckers. Well... I mean, good luck. Look at the parries. Look at the parries. Parry this casual. She's like deflecting fireballs. She's deflecting elephant spheres. She's deflecting magic missiles and ice bolts. She can't be I don't even know where she's gone. There she is. I mean, she's doing pretty well in dealing with these wizards. Uh, the problem is they're just bypassing the whole friggin' base. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get back in there, Maria. Come on. Come on, shoot someone. What's she doing? Why is she not firing? Has oh, it got like a minimum range to it? Oh, she's taking damage now. Okay. Okay, I'm not a fan of that. Uh, I guess just try and get into some cover. Assuming they didn't teleport us away. And gun down whatever the hell we can and try and get them to retreat. Because they're just going to dig right through the fort. I mean, I, I credit to the AI here. I, I, they almost deserve a round of applause because that was the biggest brain play I've ever seen. Teleport her to the back and, and have her distracted and run right past? That's genius. Oh, man. She destroyed her own embrasure. They're through. They're actually through. Um. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. Even with all of these upgrades, we still can't stop them fast enough. That's incredible. We need, like, a big explosive weapon would be good, wouldn't it? Like, right here, just, like, a big explosive weapon. They're digging into a bedroom. Right. Go for the melee. Go for the melee. Kill the lot. Nano machines unleashed. Is now the time to do it. How does it work? We, have we actually got to be next to a battery? Oh, I guess so. No, she actually did turn the power in. Oh, is it working? Uh, power of the nano machine core. Holy crap, it doubles everything. Holy shit, 819% manipulation. That'll probably do it. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. How long does it last for? 24 hours. We did suck up the entire base's worth of power, so I'm not really surprised. Nano machine, son. Oh, look at her go. Just deflecting absolutely everything. I am in awe that they haven't retreated, but look, even with that, she can't get through these freaking paladins. That took like six hits. Decides to do what they can and leave. They just will not retreat. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing personnel, kid. Teleports behind you. Even with all of these bionics, that was a little bit close for comfort, huh? Feel like we need to start reinforcing our range a little bit more. Maybe we do need to go back to the anti-material rifle, because if they can snatch her right out of the embrasure from 
from further than the range of her weapon. We've got a we've got a real problem there. And I genuinely thought for a second with all of her ridiculous bionics and gear that that would have been a completely one-sided fight. But it really wasn't. It really wasn't. It probably will be when we turn the internet bionics on, but... <laughs> <laughs> For the time being, there's still tension. And in less than a quarter of the time, we are catching back up to the difficulty we had at that beginning base. Things are going to start to get very, very ridiculous very fast. And I hate to say it, there isn't much we can do in terms of upgrading Maria at this point other than the cybernetic limbs. She's got uh, effectively the best weapon we can craft right now, the best bionics we can ever possibly get. Again, with the exception of cyber limbs. Short of reinforcing weapons and armor, there's not much else I can do. We don't have turrets or anything like that, so it's not as if we can throw down some basic defenses in that regard. And we barely have enough power to keep everything running overnight because we're in the middle of winter right now, and in winter there's no solar generators active. I think that the plan for tomorrow nuclear power plants and get this cybernetic hub set up and then after that point if it gets any harder we're screwed because <laughs> i mean there's literally at that stage nothing else we can upgrade her with that's the point where we buckle down we study the grand architect structure and we get the hell out of here i mean of course we do need to go and wipe out the wizards in their base you know really send them a message we can't just let all of this go unanswered but don't get me wrong though i am impressed by what we've turned maria into today what is that on her back? Oh, <laughs> it's an armchair. <laughs> Over the course of a single episode, we've gone from throwing knives and broken gear to full-on cyborg warrior, holding hundreds and hundreds of chaos balls at the gates with just a single sword. I think I'm all right with that. And of course, rather sadly, we're coming to the end of the adventures of Maria and her androids. There is very, There are very few places to go beyond what we've got here, so... Let's have fun with it while it's still here. Let's get those tier 5 bots as soon as possible. Let's get every resource possible. And let's go mad with it. But anyway, we could even use the Rim Factory stuff. But I'll probably put that to a vote when we have it all unlocked and ready to go. In the meantime, of course, a big thank you to the patrons for their patience and support with this series. Thank you to Dark Saint 28 Eevee Moon, Chax, Daedra's, Baldor Hammer, Beta Soldier, Gammon Jude, Alex Monk, Narfulf, Applecat, Reptile, Biv, Anastara, Revan, Mr. Moma, and Eased Waffles for their support over at Patreon. I am slowly catching up with the Patreon messages. I get so many a day now, it's it's very, very difficult to try and keep up with it all. You know, there's a thousand patrons over there, and that's that's a lot of people to try and keep in contact with, so I apologize if I've been a little bit slower, but again, as the Patreon grows, it is just going to be slower and slower as things go by there, so just bear with me. I'll be with you in no time. Thank you as well to Angry Ares, Gaffy, Ractanian, Vegan Slayer, Axel PJ, Slinger, Duke, Mr. Streamers, Wrinkly, Ding Dunk, Prismo, Johnny Richards, Hudeman, Deuterium, Mini, Psychotic Burst, Thistress Morana, James, and Freaking Satan as well. See you all tomorrow.